We are lithium batteries structure and efficiency research team at the Elena Geometry Lab at the University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. Our research team consists of three undergraduate students, two graduate students, and then a professor. In a lithium batteries, there are tin cells located in the cathode. As the battery is getting charged, the lithium ions from the anode of the battery flow to the cathode of the battery, and the tin shells in the cathode absorb these lithium ions. It is true that the charge time of the battery highly depends on the distribution of these tin cells in the cathode. Therefore, our research team is focused on finding the most efficient distribution of the tin cells in the electrode to minimize the charge time. To do this, we created a mathematical model using Sage Math. We used a grid structure to model the electrode of the battery where we can place tin cells throughout. Uh, we had the lithium flow from top to bottom, and as the lithium flows through, it will bond with the tin cells, which will accumulate charge. To better illustrate this, we have a couple of animations of distributions. Here's just a blank electrode with no tin cells, and the lithium flows through unopposed. If we place two buffers in the grid, we can see that as the lithium flows through, it bonds to the tin cells. Here are some other distributions of the tin cells, just to give you a feel of how the lithium behaves around them. And here's a black distribution. Although we haven't been able to find out the most efficient battery yet, but we discovered what's the worst battery possible, which is a spiral distribution. It looks like exactly on the left. On the right-hand side, it's a random distribution. This picture shows what the battery looks like when they reach about 80% charge. And the buffers are marked as red, whereas the electrolyte are marked as blue. The darker the color, represents the more concentration they have. This graph shows really how bad the spiral distribution is. As you can see, for the random distribution, you only need about 1,000 iterations to reach over 90% charge, where for spiral, you have to have over 15,000 iterations to reach the same charge level. So with the worst battery possible in mind, we are going to discover the most efficient battery. So wish us good luck.